welcome to this week's Whip and Chat. Again, today I decided to start uh, Zoomed Out just because I want to show you uh, her face. So it's so cool. It's a lot of black, but uh, this is her hair and that's her eye and mouth there. So it's so cool and it gets me motivated to keep on going with this huge project. It's a 80 by 105. So let me zoom you in. Let's see. I think this will be good. Yeah, so how have you all been doing? It's uh, Sunday the 15th of September today. Yes. <clears throat> I'm working on Arya Stark still. I'm on the diamond symbol and that is color 934. Yeah, um, I hope you have all had a good week. I don't know, did I say that before? Um, oh, now my brain just went <laughs> totally blank just because I turned on the camera. It's so typical. Um, yeah, 15th of September, it's Sunday. Another week has passed. I've been off work since Thursday. And that's because I have a lot of saved mm, vacation days, I think. And by the end of this year, uh, we're not allowed to have over a certain amount of saved holiday days. Yeah. So it's uh, actually perfect for me at this moment, since I'm not in a very good place, to use up some of those days so I can be home and, yeah, get my energy level up and enjoy the things I like to do, like supporting my daughter, you know, she needs, she doesn't need help in the mornings and in the evenings, but I like to do so. And then when she's off to school and my husband is off at work, I can diamond paint and do some video editing and recording of course so that's that's a lot of fun um, yesterday Rachel Ray had her live first live show in a long time I think well for me it was the first time to attend her live show. Uh, I don't think she's had any live shows since I started diamond painting or since I started following her or be her patron. So that was that was real fun. Uh, I was totally totally starstruck because I mean all the girls 
uh, I'm following on YouTube and watching, you know, unboxing videos and some whipping chats, they were like there in the chat. So it was uh, interesting. Hmm. And uh, well, I find it a bit difficult to, I usually do something while the light show is going on. So for example, I'm diamond painting and it's, for me, it's a bit difficult to diamond paint and then watch uh, YouTube. Uh, so I miss a lot of the chat and it's not always I kind of, you know, understand the jokes that are written and all this. So, but I uh, listen uh, to the one who holds the show. And you know, if they, like yesterday it was Rachel, says something about someone in the chat or to someone, I try to follow in the chat. I think that was all the diamonds. As always, I probably missed a few, but time will tell. Yeah, <coughs> and I'm using the 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 Reese containers and tray, and I love them. And I switched um, diamond pen, diamond painting pen to a bigger one, which I also enjoy. And yeah, uh, Rachel mentioned a like uh, diamond painting, uh, what do you call that? Oh, shit, it just, um, hmm, not a get together, Jesus. Uh, Jesus, the words just went, uh, I can't, well, she wants to host a get together. It's called something, a retreat. Yes, a diamond painting retreat next year in Ireland in September, October, sometime. Oh my God. I told my husband about it and he was like, you're getting goosebumps just by talking about it. I'm like, yay. It would be so awesome to go to Ireland and to meet some of you all and meet Rachel. That would be so cool. But then I checked the prices and it wasn't that cool anymore, <laughs> unfortunately. So yeah, um, we'll see. Uh, but it sounded like a lot of fun. Stop talking. I need to do a new symbol. Let's see if I can for once show you mm. number 20. It's a 37.99. I hope it's in the camera. That's the symbol I'm going to do. Oh, I forgot to turn the watch on. I'm sorry. Let's do it. Yeah. Because I don't want to um want it to happen what happened yesterday when I was kind of recording my <coughs> watercolor painting video, which was about an hour. But somehow I forgot the time. And yeah, the last five minutes or so wasn't recorded. So that kind of sucked. I've been having a little bit of um, bad luck with the recordings this week. Actually on Friday, they, 
the 13, I realized, I realized that I know I'm off camera. There's the, f no, I can do those later on. Um, I noticed that I had recorded about eight unboxings in the wrong resolution, I think it's called. So you're supposed to record in, what's it called? 1920 by 1080. And I have recorded, I don't know why my camera suddenly decided to record in another resolution, but it has recorded in 1080 by 720. All those videos. Yeah. Just great, really. Yeah. So, I mean, you can't do the unboxing again. So you just have to, you know, cope with it. So I was like, well, fine. At least there's sound and there's a video. Uh, it's not the best quality, but it's okay. And then <laughs> I had one of the unboxings was the Victoria Moon unboxing. So for me, it was very important that that unboxing was going to be you know, nothing wrong with it, since it, it is a company who asked me for the review. And I don't know why, because I usually don't watch the YouTube video once I've kind of uploaded it to YouTube, but I did, and there were no sound. And I was like, what the fuck? What? And I, I, I simply, I, I don't know why that video didn't have any sound. So I opened the, you know, the project, project file. I use Adobe Premiere Pro to do my editing in and I open it and I couldn't see anything wrong, but obviously somehow I have managed to change the sound, the sound options maybe. So there were no sound. And I tried to, you know, uh, export it again, but no. So I had to re-edit the whole thing once again. I was not very happy about that, but I guess all well. Uh, the next one, I when I had re-edited it, it worked, there were sound and it's uploaded and it's being publish, pu published on Monday, the 7th of October. So that's that's uh, the schedule I'm hoping to to keep that there will be one unboxing every Monday, you know, just to keep the channel going. If I unbox everything at once and publish all my videos, I don't have anything else much to publish. And I like to have things scheduled. So tomorrow, I think it is the Graham Gherkin, one of the sun, golden sunset, I think it's called. 
I think that's the one tomorrow being released. But since this video is being released on Thursday, you already know that if you watch my unboxings. Yeah. So a little bit of uh, bad luck on Friday the, thir the 13th. But yeah, I usually like that day. I was born on the on Friday the, the 13th. So I don't know if you should call it bad luck or not. I did break my collarbone the day I was born, so <laughs> yeah, that was not very lucky for me, I guess. <clears throat> yeah, um, but back to the watercoloring, I uh, watched and rewatched Steve Mitchell's uh, Might of Coloring and how he painted the spontaneous uh, landscapes in a small format and it just looks so cool really I mean amazing how you can just put some color in and then you let your mind find trees and bushes and sky and stuff you know stones and rivers and I really really wanted to try that because again you don't have to be good at drawing or sketching if you do like that um, but it it is so intimidating and I went for days before I just told myself you know you just have to sit down and do it and so what if it turns out bad you don't have to publish your video if you don't want to and on the other hand you know it's nothing wrong to not succeed and you can just throw the paper you don't even have to use you know the most expensive watercolor colors you have i have cheaper ones and you don't have to use your absolutely most expensive watercolor paper either so i decided just just do it so and it was really nice to actually do it and i was happy about the result i mean it's it's not da vinci or anything but i did it and to me it's a um, landscape picture what i'm doing here is there is a small piece of plastic sticking out on the side maybe some of you would just say throw it away I'm getting scared that my drills won't be enough. So on these ones, I just take my tweezers and snatch it off on the side. You probably can't see any of this, but that's what I'm doing. Then I have to lay it down so I can pick it up with my drill pen and replace it. Yeah. And you know, <clears throat> oh, so water and watercolors, it's so cool to see them turn alive on paper and just, oh, yeah. And you know, the, the feeling of the brush against the paper and you see, oh yeah, mixing the colors. It's so 
such a nice feeling. What I don't like about it is when I start pressuring myself to, you know, that you can't sketch, you can't draw, you can't do this, you can't do that, it won't turn out like this, and it won't look like that. That's what I don't like about any of my hobbies, because it always gets to that for me. And it's a little bit what I, I don't have to think about that when it comes to diamond painting, because I can't do it differently. Seriously, I can't. Uh, yeah. So that's what's good about diamond painting. You don't have to think about those things. I mean, the hardest choice you have to do on diamond painting is when not to buy a kit, what color to uh, choose, and to withstand multiple projects. Oh yeah, where do you store everything? Because I don't have walls for these diamond paintings. So I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I will, I guess, just roll them uh, up and put it in a tube or something. But it's fun and I hope I really hope I'll be able to be part of the community because I I like the people in it. Uh, everybody seems so nice. Of course, there's some drama. I've noticed that. So, but um, I guess we get that everywhere. Yeah, um, the beginning of the week, I was thinking about that the other day, what, if there was anything going on in the beginning of the week? I don't think so. Um, I think I was just, you know, working. As usual. But um, again, I, I have to say, uh, after making the decision to just go back to, you know, the job I had from the beginning, no challenges, no doing something new or just, you know, knowing these are the things you have to do. come here at this time, you go home at that time. Yeah. And you do your best while you're here. And that's, that's so nice. Um, it's such a relief. So. It gives me peace in mind and soul so and I made the decision to step back as a union representative so now I just have to tell my co-workers that in our big meeting on uh, Tuesday I think it is Tuesday or Wednesday so that's what it is I just have to say it and Yeah, um, I was talking about work. Well, let's not talk about work anymore. It's just boring. Nothing fun has happened there. Well, yes, one thing actually. Yeah, uh, there's two um, other secretaries uh, which I've worked with uh, a couple of years. And we do see each other uh, in private sometimes. And we decided to uh, it, to go out and enjoy ourselves 
uh, the next month. So we've, uh, what do you call that? Booked table? No, Re made reservations, yeah. Uh, in a place called Pinchos. So, so we're the three of us going there. I'm really looking forward to that. That's, we usually have a lot of fun together. So we're gonna meet, eat some dinner and, and talk for a couple of hours and then yeah, go home. So that's really nice. I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah. We're like um, the same age and we have kids and we're in relationships. So we always have something to talk about, which is, which doesn't have to be work. Usually it, you talk about work with people, with the people you work with. So, so that's nice. Um, and then uh, Mina, my daughter, uh, was granted uh, a day's leave from school to go to the big book, um, is it called Mass? Uh, no, it's, it's like a festival f uh, for four days. So we usually go uh, one day one day of the four and on the Friday one of her you know biggest YouTube idols are coming there no not just one there are actually a couple of them coming there to talk about their books and you know social media and stuff so she was very thrilled to to get the day off from school to go with me and my mom there um, so that's uh, yeah I'm happy for her uh, so uh, but otherwise you know you get so much inspiration when you're there you know usually you buy some books you get them signed by the authors you can you know go listen to their stories about the book they've written or about their life and everything you know it's so 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 interesting so i'm going there not the coming week but the next week after that so i'll be telling you guys about that and it's authors from uh well it's mostly from sweden of course but there are people coming from uh, all over the world so it's so very nice and I'm telling you you get starstruck there sometimes oh my god yeah <laughs> so um, yeah and I, I I don't know why it's I find it hard to stay Focus to read and I hate myself for that because I really love to read a good book you know when it's so good that you can't let it go or you're looking forward to get home from work to lay in the sofa with a book and read it but I listen to a lot of audiobooks I do that but now I've been so busy watching YouTube so it's hard to find the time to listen to books as well. So I need to find some balance. So I love, I love the world books present to you. I mean, you can go into any world which doesn't exist or which just exists in your imagination and you know you can really escape reality by doing that but in a good way so yeah that's just awesome 
and I'm so glad that my daughter also likes to read. But for her, it's the same thing to, to have the time to do it. And especially now with her new school, you know, they get a lot of homework uh, already. And she's not used to that. They didn't get homework in her old school. And uh, yeah, it's there's a lot of pressure, you know, to... Uh, but uh, I, I'm telling her the, be the most important thing is to do your best. Uh, and she has changed and learned so much in these three, four first weeks. If you compare it to what she learned in her old school, it's amazing totally amazing and we're so happy about changing switching schools it's the best choice we have done and she has uh, gotten a new friend and they were out all afternoon and evening friday so they went to town straight after school and it was the first time she she's been allowed to do that and there were three girls going and you know they went to espresso house and drank some juice and you know they went to the clothing stores and bought some shirt and they went to the candy store and bought some candy yeah you know girls just want to have fun right <laughs> there's another yeah <coughs> So, yeah, that makes me really, 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 really happy. And more about her school. Wednesday, there was a parent meeting. So, my husband took Mina to her dance class, which is all evening. She has two classes after each other. Uh, oh, come on. And uh, I went to the parenting meeting. Whoops. <laughs> that flew off there. Yeah. Lucky me, it landed on the arm. Yeah, what do you call the thing on the chair? You have your arms. You can rest your arms on. Yeah, whatever. Uh, and that was very interesting to even see, you know, that most of the teachers are Swedish, but they're supposed to speak English. And some of them are only English speaking. Like the Spanish teacher, she doesn't speak Swedish. And the English teacher is from Texas and she doesn't speak Swedish. And the math teacher is also from Spain and he speaks a little bit Swedish but no so the Swedish teachers also they you can notice that they had developed in speaking English and maybe feeling more comfortable doing that so that was nice um let's see should i do i should do the the triangles i'm trying again because i want to show you so the triangles are for 13. i feel like i'm uh, you know <laughs> breathing heavy i don't get oxygen in i think i've been eating too much yeah but that was interesting um there are four, no, there are 35 students in Mina's class. 35, that's a lot. That's the biggest class in school. But in her old school, in the old class, in her old school, they were 18 or 19 students. And 
the teachers said there that they were spending more time fighting the kids, you know, to settle down so they would have time to teach. So the kids, I mean, they didn't learn that much unless you didn't have a problem with having noise and stuff around you. But for, Mina cannot concentrate on math, for example. Math is important because she was interrupted by other kids all the time. And in the end, they started bullying her because she was behind. And it pisses me off. So, but she's keep, she's keeping, you know, the right pace now. And there are like almost twice as many children in the class. With one teacher, the old class, they had three teachers at the same time because they had to, you know, argue with the children. Can you? Oh, no, no, not okay. And I don't know if it's parenting as well. I mean, you have to teach your child how to behave. I don't know. I don't want to talk about that. It makes me angry. So when we came to the school, to the parent meeting, they had put up, you know, tables with fruits and, you know, sandwiches and cookies and buns. And I was like, and coffee and tea and everything. I was like, oh my God. Only that is shows the difference between a private school and uh, what you call that a commune school commune yeah you know a school owned by kind of the state but not quite we, we have communes here so we have the state, we have regions, and then we have communes. Communities, maybe, is a better word. Yeah. <clears throat> so it was fun to see the difference. And yeah, I believe that she will do fine as long as we give her the support she needs. So. And they're starting a, what do you call that, um, a math club or something. So you can go there after school and do your homework and you can get some help with the homework. Because um, there's a lot of parents who doesn't know, you know, maths and maybe, you know, it changes over time how you calculate stuff. So instead of, you know, having this argument at home, they can stay and go to this club and get help doing the homework from other students or teachers who know what they're talking about. So that's nice. We've asked for that in her old school every year and nothing happened. It was up to the student to ask for help. Yeah. Anyway. So what else has happened? Today we went to my mother's place. She needed some help to take down some lamps and move some furniture because the company that owns the houses where she lives are starting to do a bigger, mm, what do you call that? Uh, 
you know, they're going to fix the place. Uh, they're going to draw new electric, you know, cables. And they're going to get new kitchens and, and stuff. So they're going to fix the places. So now they're starting with draw, drawing new electrical electrical cables. Um, I know. I I'm trying to to learn English properly <laughs> as well. Um, yeah. So. Uh, yeah. What else? What else? Yeah, and my mom, she started diamond painting. I mentioned that. And it's so fun, you know, to to have someone to talk with about it you know um yeah you know to share uh, this hobby with and i gave her her cover minder you know the same one as this one which i got from uh, little puffer fish and i gave her a, tw a couple of tweezers because they weren't included in her kit because she ordered a round kit from Diamond Art Club. And then she showed me her canvas and there was a spot on the canvas that didn't have any glue. And I was like, what? Are you sure? I've never heard this happen with Diamond and Art Club because I you know, I've been talking so good about them for my mom. So she got a little bit, you told, you told me they were, you know, kind of good. And well, I, I, I have never heard this happen. So, uh, I've emailed them right away asking, you know, what shall we do? Maybe there is something we can get to put some adhes adhesives adhesives uh, maybe there is something we can do uh, it's sad it happens to her first kid and as we all know we live in Sweden so it's not uh, yeah it's the whining with you know paying a lot of uh a lot for the shipment and a lot for the taxes and the customs and yada 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 so it's nothing you just even if the kit isn't that expensive you just don't go and buy a new one so we'll we'll see i, I mailed them today so i'll get some response in a few days i'm sure so we'll see what they say but her kit otherwise other than that looks really nice she has that uh, flower on the rocks I think it's called it's a purple flower on black and white rocks so it's so beautiful and it's it's so funny you know to see how uh, i organize my drills in one way and to me that's the way you sh should do but i know of course that everyone does it differently but i can now you know see it see how you would do it differently but my mom has made her way of <laughs> organizing the drills and it's so cool to see and you're like oh yeah that that was kind of cool so that's uh that's fun yeah 
yeah she you know she she's already like she's maybe she's halfway and she's like i want to buy a new one i don't know which one and you know she has a, a list in her phone with companies you know she needs to go to check out uh, if there is something and i'm like but you started with a diamond art club and miss coffee said don't start with diamond art club because you never ever want to change to something else after that or you get very disappointed if you buy a kit from another company and you're used to diamond art club yeah so i warned her And I love my Arya Stark, I do, I do. But I want to be finished. I want to start a smaller kit. I want to start something with color in it. I know Arya is going to be so cool. And I'm going to be so proud for when I finish this. So that's why I diamond painted up towards her head you know to find the motivation to just keep on and to stick with this project only not to start another one because it's very tempting it's easy to just uh, roll away for a little while and switch in between but I know if I start with that oh it's gonna be like my heaven and earth cross stitching I start one project after the other and all of a sudden you have like 10 20 whips laying around and I don't want that with the diamond painting I want to finish I want to finish projects yeah and then oh yes I got the paint by numbers kit as well I wanted to try out I think that was last week and I haven't started it I haven't unboxed it yet because oh, I really 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 <laughs> want to try but uh, I'm also if, if I'm gonna try you know I have to finish at least one the color I, I start with so I'm little intimidated by it but you know you have to have time for everything as well so there is a time for everything and yeah that's all there's a small piece here to the right where I have some of the colors I'm working on now but I'll do them later when I'm not filming oh my god we have been on oh no, i've been on ranting for 48 minutes something like that 45 maybe okay um yeah i don't know i really want to go to that diamond painting retreat rach ray was talking about um but it, it's a lot of money and i'm not sure you know i couldn't pay for the plane ticket now so I, I don't know. We'll see. Um, maybe I should answer some of the get to know me questions before I stop for today. Um, let's see. Where is what are life goals? I answered that sports. Have you any books written? No. What is your favorite movie? Yeah, I answered that. Who are your favorite? Yeah, I answered that. Do you speak any languages? And how? Yeah, I answered that. Single or taken? Yes. So, it's question number 20. No fucking way. I did it again. No. I mixed. I pour them in the wrong bin I hate myself yeah 
I'm going to sort those colors. Why? I don't understand. It's because I'm talking at the same time. It's not good. No. And I missed some more colors over there. I noticed that. Question 20. What is your idea of your dream date? Oh. You know, it's been so long since I dated. Um, my dream date. Well, I guess. to go out and eat something no then sometimes you get gassy and stuff no <laughs> um if i would go on a date with my husband i would like to go to the movies or no i would actually like to do something an activity last time went on a date like when we had a 10 year anniversary we went bowling first that was fun um and we um went to dinner afterwards so yeah i would uh, actually like to grab some hiker food um my pocket rocket and take him out in the woods <laughs> take him out in the woods and go hiking you know he has his camera I have my backpack and, you know, just find a nice spot uh, in the sunshine and cook some hiker food, you know, that's a perfect date for me. When we're out hiking together, we get to talk a lot. So that that's nice. Yeah. Okay, let's do another symbol. We are doing number 10, 5, 3, 5. And I forgot to turn on. I'm a mess. I am a mess. Yeah. Um, 5, 3, 5. Question number 28. One, how long was your longest relationship? Well, that's the one I'm in now. And we are going to be married for... How old is my daughter? She's 12. And... So 12 years, we got married the year she was born. So 12 years and then we had like a relationship a year. We started dating a year before that. So, so 13 years, that's nice. Yeah. And I wouldn't change him for anyone. He's my companion, he's my sanity you know so question 22 how would you describe your fashion sense <laughs> fashion what's fashion that's my sense I have none yeah doesn't interest me at all but I do know that it is important for young people. So when it comes to Mina, I will support her. She won't be allowed to dress any way or anything. So there are some restrictions, let me say. 
But no, I don't have any sense for passion. I'm yeah, it, it doesn't interest me at all. So um twenty-three, what is your go-to hairstyle? Well I'm letting my hair grow out. I have very short hair, hair for a very long time, which I like, and I think it fits me very well. But since my daughter also need her things with the hair, you know, I'm thinking that it's better that I spend the money on her hair and stuff instead of mine so I decided to just let it grow so that's uh, fine yeah uh. so last question 24 how many siblings do you have I have two siblings. I have an older sister. Uh, she's two years older. And we have the same mom and dad. Then I have a younger sister who's nine years younger. And we have the same mom, mom but not the same dad. And they both moved here. So... Oh, I just got a message from my mom saying she ordered <laughs> a new diamond painting. <laughs> oh, I have to look at that. Oh, square drills. Oh, she. Jesus. Jesus. But no picture. She didn't send a picture. That's great. And she didn't ask me if I should order something with her. Maybe she thought I had enough of <laughs> diamond art clubs. Because I do. Yes. Or can you ever have enough? Yeah. <clears throat> so um, my two sisters ended up moving to the same uh, city uh, I live in. Um, so that's kind of nice that they made the decision to follow me. Yes. And my mom did the same thing. So I'm very, very pleased to have them around. Not that we meet each other that much, you know, daily life. Mm. But I wish we uh, would hang out more, I think. Uh, I see my mom quite a lot. Uh, but my sisters, you know, we're all busy. Busy, busy. So, oh yeah, let me see. Oops. This is what she ordered. My God, that's nice. My mom, she loves the yin and yang. Nice. I wonder where she bought it from. Well, um, now I think I'm starting to mix up the symbols and colors, so I better just call it a day. And I've been rambling here for an hour, so that's more than enough. Now I'm gonna sort some freaking drills, yay. Very good work, yes, nicely done, Linda. Anywho, um, that's all for today. Um, if you have any comments uh, to leave, any questions, put them down below, please. And um, 
yeah don't forget to hit subscribe because then i'll see you next time thank you for watching bye